Stars series Outlander is off screens at the moment with fans in for quite a wait until season 7. While viewers try to survive the so-called Droughtlander, many are eager for any new bits of trivia from the show. Although season 6 was the shortest outing to date, it had some of the most poignant plot points as well as some tender moments between the central couple Jamie, played by Sam Hewen, and Claire Fraser, Katrina Balfe. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Intimacy Coordinator Vanessa Coffey, explained how she worked with Hewan and Balfe on the new series, saying her role was different compared to other shows. Coffee was enlisted by producer and actor Hewan to work on Outlander with the intimacy coordinator now busy on season 7 as filming takes place in Scotland. Hewan wanted an intimacy coordinator to offer support to the cast, particularly the younger members who were new to the industry. When Outlander first aired, the show didn't have an intimacy coordinator with the cast working without one. Intimacy coordination has come about relatively recently off the back of the hashtag MeToo era. Now many shows from Bridgerton and Sex Education to I May Destroy You, have a dedicated intimacy coordinator on hand to work with the cast to ensure safety. In fact, sex scenes are now treated with the same rigorous planning as a fight scene with many discussions, choreography sessions, and rehearsals taking place prior to filming. Coffee, who has also worked on Netflix's Fate, The Winx Saga and Skies I Hate Susie, said, Sam and Katrina already do have a mode of working together, so really it's a little bit different on Outlander working with the leads because it's about how I can come in and help enhance those scenes. They already have a great deal of trust between the two of them, which is really lovely. I think it's really apparent they've got a good working relationship. She said her job was more about how she could assist Balf and Hewan with these intimate moments, explaining, so then it's about, okay, let's talk about the literal things that are going to happen in this scene, the angles we're going to be shooting it from. Maybe adding in some of the things they hadn't previously spoken about that they may have spoken about together that we can have a conversation about as a group with production. As an example, whether the characters go through to orgasm. That's not a conversation you want to have on the day of the shoot. You want to ask, is this going to happen? It's about having that conversation before we get to the time of the shoot.